If you suffer from asthma, you know that spring can be one of the worst times of the year. Not only is it frustrating, it can also be extremely frightening. I've lived with terrible asthma for 20 years. Every day, I have uncontrollable gasping, wheezing, and tightness in my chest. I've been admitted to the hospital close to 100 times. About 15 years ago, I had a particularly bad asthma attack. I didn't have enough breath to make a call to 911. And I laid on the kitchen floor. Then I started pounding and pounding on the kitchen floor, hoping that my son would hear me. I thought I was going to die. When you have asthma, it really takes control of your life. I can't go up the stairs. I can't do active things with my granddaughter. Even pushing her on the swing is terribly difficult. I can't blow up a balloon. I just can't do it. Not being able to breathe is the ultimate form of claustrophobia. You really feel as if you're trapped. I never know when I walk out the door if I'm gonna make it back or not. That was Patricia. She's here today along with Dr. Jeff Hales, Chief of the Division of Pulmonary Care Medicine at Virginia Hospital. Thank you both for joining us today. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. And what I love about this is so many people suffer from asthma, breathing difficulties, and we've traditionally treated them with certain medications, trying to keep symptoms under control. But this is groundbreaking what you're doing. Yes, yeah, so the, the technique is called bronchial thermoplasty. It's a procedure-based technique for asthma severe asthmatics, patients that have the disease and remain symptomatic despite using daily medications. So these are patients who their airways constantly are closing up on them. Patricia, you know this feeling, you feel like you're going to die. I know it well. Can't get air wheezing. And you know, you're putting heat into the, that bronchial airway, right, with radio frequency waves. What is that exactly doing to the airway? So, so this gentle heat therapy causes regression of the smooth muscle, and that smooth muscle is what constricts in an asthma attack. And what we're seeing is a video showing a small tube being placed through the windpipe into the lower airways, a catheter is being advanced, and the basket is, is touching the walls of the airway, applying the gentle heat therapy, which leads to the regression of the airway muscle. And once again, that muscle is what constricts the airways during an asthma attack. And typically, how many treatments do you do? It's a series of three sessions, each scheduled about three weeks apart. Okay. Yeah. So, Patricia, you had it done. You look good. I don't hear any wheezing. Mm, I, how, how are you feeling? I feel fabulous. I, my life has been altered by this procedure. I can breathe now. I mean, Dr. Wood, let's display for folks at home because I want everyone to look in these. These Pretend these are your airway. And Dr. Orton has one. I have the one that's occluded. So in other words, my airway is constricted, okay? So asthmatics not only have difficulty breathing in, but it's breathing out. So let's have a little competition. You have why the asthmatic I, airway. Why I get the hard And one? I have normal, okay. normal airway. <laughs> that was hard. So you're literally, you're going in there, opening up those airways, and now, Patricia, you don't have to use rescue treatments each and every day. You are a brand new woman. I, I truly am. We've been doing a lot of walking, and my family yesterday said, hey, slow down. <laughs> I love it. They can't keep up with you. I love it. Patricia, Dr. Hills, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. For all you're